All right, so let me let me explain my warm-ups for all you kids out there. Okay, so pretty much to start, um, I kind of break it up into three things. You know, right hand first, left hand, and then sort of combining right and left hand to kind of, you know, make the left hand techniques a little harder, the right hand techniques a little bit harder. Uh, my warm-ups usually before a show are about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, I would say... 10 to 15, the the average, the usual, because I'm also doing like warm ups for vocals, stretches. I like to condense all the stuff down into at least an hour, so I'm not rushing, you know, and not like wasting a bunch of time trying to get it all uh, into one 15, 20 minute rush. You know, every now and then that happens with festivals, but with this, um, I would say I'm going to explain how I do a couple of the things, how you can kind of mix and match the stuff. I'm going to run through it with a kind of um, a metronome here. So let me make sure this metronome's on so you can hear it. Shouldn't be too loud, I don't think. I don't want it to be too loud anyway. Okay, so the first thing that I, I do, pretty simple. Um, and again, this is your right hand first. So... You start your metronome at a good speed, and you're just going to run up and down the strings. Imagine like you're jogging. This is the jog before the stretches. Very simple. Now... You can double time that if you want. It might be kind of fast at that speed. Uh, also, what you're kind of practicing for at that point is minimal string noise as you're going between them. Um, you know, when you're playing with a pick, it's kind of easy because your your palm is sort of like muting a lot of the string noise but when you're playing with your fingers you're not going to have that you're going to have to mute that kind of with your left hand and you're going to have to really think uh as you're going from string to string so by doing that with the metronome forcing yourself to stay on time you're going to really hammer in the consistency from string to string very very important i always stress this with people do not skip this simple shit don't go to the hard stuff right away do the simple shit now and all the hard stuff becomes much easier later same thing with the left hand. It's going to be kind of simple stuff at first, um, but you're focusing on making your your ring and your pinky really strong. Um, when you start to play fills and stuff, you know that's going to be, you know that's going to be the thing that really separates uh, you being able to play a lot of hard stuff and not being able to. So, again, starting with the right hand, it's really just kind of warming it up. Think of it as a job. double time it whatever you want I wouldn't do triplet stuff yet I saved that for my last round so the next thing we'll move on to is the left hand the stretches you want the stretches for all the fills you want your pinky and your ring finger to be really really uh, stretched out and also building dexterity building intensity you know so your your hammer-ons pull-offs you know all that stuff is a lot more uh, intensity to them. You, you don't want your pinky being the weakest link here. You know, if you want to start doing your, you know, your, your tapping and all that kind of stuff, this is where you're going to get the strength. Okay, so my first thing is it's a one, two, three, four, you know, very self-explanatory. One, two, three, four with your fingers. You're going to go up the neck. It's chromatic, meaning that when you get to four, you're going to shift up a half, half step, one fret. So let's start it at let's start at 104 here. Okay, simple. And then when you get up here, you're going to go back down. Now, what I would do 
after this, I would keep doing doing that on all the strings. I would go up and down, next string, up and down, next string, up and down. Very simple, sounds stupid. It's just, you know, every single note on the neck. But again, you're, you're worrying about the stretch. You're worrying about strength. That's all that matters. The next thing I would probably do... Um, I would maybe mix it up. I would go one, three, two, four. So essentially the same concept. You're shifting up a half half step each time, but you're doing your first and third finger first. So first and third, and then second and fourth. First and third, second and fourth. Again, to the metronome. <laughs> spicy it's tricky when you go back down you're like oh i got it going up i'm a master now i'm jaco pastorius now and then you go back down and you're like oh shit i fucked up and you have to keep doing that shit over and over again until you stop fucking up then what i would do is um i'd maybe add a little bit more string skipping again it's gonna be harder going back down um, so it's going to go one, two, three, four, but you're doing one and three on the G string and then don't laugh. And then, uh, two and four on the D and you would do this going down the subsequent string. So it'd be like, let's do that with the metronome. Now, let's say going back down is tricky, which it will be. Just slow it down. So, going back, reverse. This is what it's going to take to get super fast, to get all your hits and all your stuff really, really strong. I cannot stress enough doing this with a metronome. I know Matt probably has done that as well with all his warm-ups. You have to do it. It doesn't matter if you fuck up. I fuck up all the time. You're going to have to keep pushing through because that's what's going to get you better. I sound like a fucking fitness instructor now doing this shit. Okay. I've been, I've been doing Insanity, so I'm just ripping off Sean T. Um, so the next one, this is the one I like the most, I think, is the diagonal. So it's one, two, three, four, but you're going down. And if you, if you don't have a five string, this is perfect. You don't need a fifth string for this one. It's one, two, three, four, all the way down to the E on each string. And then back up. One, two, three, four. And then back down. Now, you are shifting up a half step here. But what you're doing is when you come down to the uh, E string, which is your low string, if you play a four string, you go back up from the second fret, you start from the second fret on the G, you go to the third fret on the E, third fret on the G. So that's how it shifts up. Oh, J Flores, thank you for the sub. Okay, so let's do this with the metronome. Again, this is my favorite, I think. And it's very hard going backwards. Very nice. Then if you want to speed that one up. Mm -hmm. 
So again, this is all a matter of preference of what you want to do. If, but you need to do 10 to 20 minutes a day before you do your warm-ups and all that stuff. Uh, you have to really, really focus on doing this. And why I say 10 to 15 minutes, because it's not that much time. You could do this every day. You don't have to do every single thing I just showed you. You could do one. If you're struggling on one, just stay on that. Do that for 10, 15 minutes. When you get better, add more in. Um, another one I would do is a one, three, two, four, just doing a kind of a simple like, um, you'll be going up the neck, but you're going to go up the strings first. So it would look like this. One, three, two, four, one, three, two, four. So... And from the other exercises, you get the point. You're moving up and down the neck. That's the big uh, goal here is you want to play every single note on the neck. I usually stop at the 12th fret. You can go the whole way up if you feel like. Um, the other one I would do, and this is probably the last one I'll suggest for you guys, um, because you could, you could take any of the things I just showed you. You could mix and match stuff. You could change it up to fit what you want, to make it harder, to make it less hard. Um, if you really need some extra practice with like your ring and your pinky, I would suggest just using those fingers on this. So it would go. It's, uh, it's simple, but that's what it's going to take. Make those pinky and ring fingers very, very strong. So, anyways, that was my kind of a warm up. Oh, wait, I forgot the last part. If you really want to kind of make this a little trickier and throw something else into the mix with the right hand, what I do is I will do like, you know, my triplets where I'm doing the. And this is if you kind of have this down. And if you don't have this down and you want to get triplets, I suggest you just sit there with the metronome. And ring, middle finger, pointer. That's how you're going to build the strength for that. But for this last exercise, I'll just do the one, two, three, four going up. And you could apply this to any of the things I just showed you. But if you do have your uh, triplet stuff down, or if you want to make it harder... You just add it to those exercises I showed you. So, you know, you could double time. And then if you want to add in triplets, it would go. How a little too fast. Slow that down. Now, the whole purpose of this is to really get all of the strikes even. You want the intensity even. Um, it's about consistency. For me, that's the main, main thing. Your fast playing and your slow playing needs to be fairly even. And so this will kind of help um, condense the range of how you're hitting. Uh, you're going to find when you're playing fast, you're going to have to play a little bit softer. So you want to take as fast as you can play. You kind of want to make your, your slower playing the kind of things where you want to really dig in. You want to make sure that those are even. So this is going to help if you kind of go through this chromatic stuff. Very simple, self-explanatory. Make your own 10, 15 minutes out of what I just showed you. Apply it every day. Do it before you play your songs, what, like what I'm about to do. Uh, it'll help a lot. And if you uh, happen to miss this, if you just came in, this will all be on my YouTube very, very soon.